Welcome to A Drink of Wisdom. Jay Wise and Nathan Drinkard, I'm your host, Cody Ward. Thanks for spending some of your time with us tonight. What's going on, guys? Let's talk some sports, baby. This is A Drink of Wisdom. All right, guys, basketball isn't the only sport grinding to a halt right now. Going down the list here, we have the NFL on a mostly work-from-home basis regarding scouting and pre-draft routines. The XFL has canceled the rest of their relaunch season, but they will pay their players their salaries and benefits. MLS has suspended their season for 30 days. The NHL is suspended until further notice. PGA has canceled the players in Florida and has canceled all events, including a postponement of the Masters next month. Major League Baseball has canceled spring training and delayed the start of the season for at least two weeks. And even NASCAR and tennis are canceled as of now. All right, Drink, among all these cancellations, which one stands out to you the most? I, I got two. Um, you, you mentioned one, that NASCAR. Hey, I was uh, floored when I seen that one. I'm like, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I must say, those cars are really packing in the virus. Floored. And then, um, <laughs> yeah, Ford, Chevy, well, Toyota, somebody. Uh, I, NASCAR kind of threw me off. And I'm going to say golf, simply because I thought what golf was going to do um, was just make it to where it was just the, the golfer himself and the caddy. Or maybe they was going to make the golf work double time and make him carry his own bag. I didn't know. Um, I thought that was going to be a thing. But listen, I would say this for all these events. As crazy as they sound that they've been canceled, I understand one thing and one thing only. Unless you got everybody tested that's involved in this, you kind of had to cancel it. Even though I felt like it was a little crazy that NASCAR, if I don't have a test for all the people that's involved, that's the drivers, that's the, the pit crew, that's, you know, the guy waving the flag, all these, these people that's involved, then I can, I guess I have to sympathize with the fact that NASCAR said, we out, we out. Um, golf the same way. And I want to say Roy McElroy. He was the one that, that kind of made me open my eyes to golf. When it first got canceled, I'm like, dude, it's golf. Just keep – no fans. It's two dudes walking from hole one to hole 18. Let's get it done. But he made a good point. He said, listen, I don't want to play golf unless we all been tested. We got guys from all over the world that play in this tournament, all over. The, it's a global game. What do we look like just rubbing elbows with some guy from South Korea? or some guy from Italy, or some guy from China. It's a little unfair of us to ask them to do something that we wouldn't do ourselves. So once I kind of grasped the concept of his explanation about the cancellation, I said, all right, cool. I got it, man. You know, that makes a good point. Now, out of all the sports that you named, the one that really caught me by surprise that left my tongue hanging because I thought we was going to get some of that good old XFL action I thought Vince McMahon was going to be the last man standing on Million Dollar Vince. And then he pulled the plug on me. Um, so that hurt my heart a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I, I thought we really was going to get that done. But I'm glad the XFL has decided to pay the players and give them the benefits. And once again, this is why I wanted to give kudos to Mark Cuban. I feel like if Mark Cuban had not started that whole ordeal, a lot of these players would not be getting paid. They, they, it would have been like, hey, you're not working. You don't get paid. <laughs> we ain't out here handing out money. No, no you work for your money. Um, so I am glad that the XFL, are, they're taking care of their players. And um, and I, I, I will hope that the rest of these sports follow suit. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I know the NBA is in a, little, in a little in flux between the players and the owners, but they'll figure it out. I think at some point you'll figure it out. Spring football. I thought that was interesting. We was about to crank up spring football, come here uh, fr today, was probably going to be the first day for most major Division I colleges, FBS colleges, to uh, start the spring football schedule. And then up to the day, boom, they out of here. Uh, so they, they, they canceled their, their spring games as well. So um, th those are the ones that really stuck out to me. The NHL, the MLS, you know, I, I got it. But... You know, I'm, I'm thinking about the sports that really, you know, 
could you kind of survive without it? Uh, yeah, I, I thought so. So, yeah, yeah, to answer your question, man, it, it was definitely NASCAR. It was definitely the, the Masters, and it was spring football for me. Yeah, I think, I think golf's definitely, if I had to pick one, like, most surprising to see get shut down. I, th- I think golf, because, yeah, you made some good points. Two guys just, you know, walking around, and I guess you can throw the caddies in there as well. But you would think uh, – that's there's no contact like physical contact in that sport it's just you and your club and the ball so you would think if you if you just don't have no fans at the events and just you know come out like hey guys let's not let's not touch we don't need to shake hands we don't need to do all this crazy stuff but hey the the point you brought up from Roy McIlroy is that it's a, that is a global game to where you got golfers that participate in these PGA events that are from, you know, all around the world. And when you have that, that's obviously a concern because, you know, you don't you don't have the, uh, I, I'm assuming just, uh, unless you feel like you're at risk, you, you ain't been tested yet for the most part. So got you on that. Uh, I, I'm not surprised that baseball is shut down, but baseball, when you consider the length of their regular season, they're going to they're going to really feel the effects of this because it's not going to be a situation where the NBA can push it all back and and suspend action and wind up being OK in the end and, you know, have a have a drum down regular season and playoff time. The, the major league, major league baseball season, because you got to understand that runs up into the NFL season. So there ain't no way that they pushing back and compete with some good old late season NFL action because it just ain't going to work out well monetarily for them. So I'm looking at them right now, depending on how long this plays out. Again, I'll go back to the 60 day thing that they just going to have to trim down the regular season. Um, and that's probably that may that may be welcome to some. I think there's been. You know, there's been talk of 162 games. I mean, good God, can, can we get a little less? Like, I know, I know we talk, we talk about all the time. Like, Eric Blizzo comes to mind. Like, can you give me something? Hey, baseball, <laughs> g- give me a little less. I mean, let, let's just do that. So, so that may be welcome. So, hold on, I, you you got a problem with the length of the, the American pastime? I don't, I don't. But there are some that do, there are some that do, and I think some would like the baseball season to be a bit shorter. So we'll see. And, and, you know, to be fair, I mean, the NBA has had, you know, that problem a little bit too. I think there are some that would like the NBA to cut down the season by maybe 10 to 20 games. I think there's some out there. The first round of the playoff, that's what they need to be cut down. That thing need to be the best of five, not the best of seven, but that's yeah. you know there. And that as well. But I, lo- I look at baseball, whenever this gets back up, I, I don't, I can't imagine that they would just jump right into the regular season. I imagine we'll see a maybe a week long spring training just to get these guys revved up a little bit, and then we would proceed in the regular season. And I would I couldn't imagine that you know the postseason getting pushed back. You know I, I'd imagine the World Series will be late October, or early November as it usually is. And 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 back to this point about ensuring that we get these guys revved up with spring training and and back to basketball with finishing the regular season. You need that because the one sport we can look to and we know it's true is football because these guys out here, they're not taking the preseason, uh, the preseason seriously at all. Now we got just whole entire teams just sitting the starters the whole preseason. And then you come out week one and you look and you look awful subpar out there. So I, I don't want to see that. So I hope for the sake of the product that both Major League Baseball and the NBA, they take those things in consideration don't put these guys out there in regular season action right away. Give them about a week or so in the NBA. Give them maybe a couple weeks, and then let's ride. Yeah, man. My uh, my Jags sat out the preseason. Look what happened to them. Was... <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, they are, uh, they are unrelated. <laughs> they are. And, and a more uh, – yeah, I actually was at working out at the players uh, for the tournament. That's why I wasn't here Wednesday and should have been here today. And I was working, you know, behind the scenes and. It was really amazing to see. And I think one of the things that we're, we're missing here or, or something to add into the conversation when we're talking about these events being canceled or maybe just the whole because we've seen a couple of times they go, oh, well, maybe we'll just do families and, and friends of players or whatever we're doing, but no full fans. 
the logistics when you have a tournament or a basketball game or a March Madness tournament, the logistics of all the other people working it are crazy. I mean, the food service, the people, all the way down to like the people busing the players in. Imagine like you're shuttling a team from the Marriott to the game, and that bus driver was just in Italy visiting his family last month, you know, and then he infects the whole team. I mean, you could screen every fan that came in, but. There's just so many people. There's so many moving parts that go into one of these things. You know, I was I was there even Tuesday. I mean, we had no thought this would get canceled. We thought, oh, there is no way. And then Wednesday, it was like during the day, it was like, uh, well, then my Wednesday night, I was thinking, man, I might come in tomorrow and they may shut this down. And sure enough, eight o'clock, there was word a spread that, hey, we're maybe this is canceled. And by Thursday afternoon, the word come down. Hey, you're you're we're done. And then today I was out there helping clean up and it was just a ghost town. You just tumbleweeds rolling around everywhere and just how fast these situations change. You know, again, it was just, it's incredible. The, the, you know, what happens and you know, just, you have all these people and it, it's so hard to limit. And obviously there's no logistical way you could test everyone that comes in. So even, even in the open air of a golf course where you're unlikely to, to catch it like you would maybe in an arena or on a cruise ship or something with the air kind of being recycled, you're still going to go to the clubhouse after the game and get food. Or maybe, you know, maybe the, one of the cooks back there has, has got it, you know, and he didn't know it. And he's making the food and stuff. I mean, it's just there's so many variables. So I, I think, again, the, these places and these, these organizations have just kind of been forced to do this. And they've tried ways around it, but ultimately there isn't much way around it uh, besides just canceling them. And, and it would be weird to see any of these events without fans. I mean, basketball, football, you name it. I mean, even golf. I mean, when, when some of these bigger golfers come on these tournaments, there's herds of 10,000 people following some of these players around. I mean, it would just be so weird to just sit there playing another round of golf like you're playing on Tuesday with your buddies and you're supposed to be at work. It's just, so it, it's this is something else. This is something that uh, we'll see, and it does bring up a good opportunity. Last thing I'll add, like y'all are saying, with shortened schedules and seasons, hey, if you want to try it out, this might be the year to do it and see how you like it. If you've ever had a better excuse in the world, this is it right now. So, hey, baseball, <laughs> hey, basketball, if y'all want to try some, y'all want to try some experiments, hey, there you go. You got your opportunity, so maybe take advantage of it. We'll see.